Hey guys, it's Kathy here, and as promised, I'm back with a remake of my Rooster Provincial album from 2012. This album is an 8x8, it's 14 pages, only this time I've stitched all of the pages. Um, I'm listing this album on eBay starting tonight, and it's going to run for five days, ending this Sunday, January 12th. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a link to the eBay listing in the remarks section of the video. I used my 8x8 Magnolia Way tutorial that's in my Etsy shop to make this album, and that tutorial was actually based off of this page design in this album. So I pretty much kept everything the same, the embellishments and everything. I changed up some of the beading on here, but um, did the cover almost exactly the same. This time it does have a Tim Holtz buckle and um, an embossed leather band. The last one had a leather bracelet that um, had a snap feature. I it was it was a neat idea. I did stop using the snap um, leather bracelets just because they they run the risk of pulling off of the front cover. And I really like the buckles better. I think they're a bit more secure. So that was the change here on the front um, and on the spine. I've got the little Florida Lee charm and the ribbons again and the wood grain uh, finishing paper on the spine just like before. So we'll go ahead and get into it and I'll show you the um, additional photo mats and tags and things that are in it now. So on the first couple of pages um, this is the little booklet here that opens up and you can see that it, I, I did have to switch some of the papers that I used from the original one and I added lace throughout the album. I found this lace I thought it went nicely with the the papers, so some changes there, um, and I had to switch up some of the papers because that was all I had left of these two um, stacks. So um, same design here with the embellishments, and I did use the edge die that I used in Magnolia Way on here. I decided that it was um, easiest to sew around, and I liked the way that it looked with the papers after all, so I went with that. And then now this opens, and then the little tags here that pull out and again I added the the lace ribbon here and on this page um, kept pretty much everything the same this time I, I did use some velvet paper for the little Fleur de Lis embellishment here that's a die cut there uh, spellbinders die and then this opens up like that and then down this way and then the large photo mat on the side that pulls out. So this one has even more room than the original one did with the um, the six large photo mats that go uh, in between the pages. And then on here, this is the split page here that opens. So a little bit more room here on this page. And then the little tags here that pull out. And then this one, um, I kept it pretty much the same and um, used a Tim Holtz embossing folder here and another Spellbinders die to create the little pocket on the bottom. And then there's the two photo mats tucked in and then the large photo mat on the side. And on this one, um, this is that little pocket again with the hairband closure and kept everything the same on that and then the two little tags that pull out on the inside and then the big side photo mat here. There we go. Oops, put that over there. Okay, and then on this page I used a slightly different Spellbinders die from the Magnolia Way. I actually, this one extends out longer. I just cut part of it off so it wasn't um, all the way across the embellishments, but I did keep the embellishments the same here. And then this opens like this. And then there's the magnet closure here. And it opens up, and then the two small tags here on the inside. And then the waterfall um, kept it the same, except I used, I did the same as in the Magnolia way. I used a buckle this time. The last one had um, some jewelry um, closure pieces that held the waterfall shut, and I decided to go with the buckle. If you do a buckle, um, I found that like going with a 
slightly thicker ribbon, like a velvet ribbon, it kind of grips the buckle a little better than if you go in with like a satin ribbon. So this opens like this, and then I've added a little uh, fleur-de-lis border punch there at the top. And then the side photo mat here that pulls out. Next page, um, kept it the same again. It's got the magnets and then the little tags here. And then the accordion fold. Oh, and the other thing, I um, switched the order. The accordion fold and the waterfall are reverse from the magnolia way. I wanted to keep the, um, the papers as they were laid out the same as the original. And so then this opens up like this. And then opens that way, and I've added the same rooster stamping from the original album. And then I'm not going to tie that right now. Pull out the photo mat on the side. And then these pages. Um, this is a, again the split page that opens with the magnets. And kept everything the same on here. And then the two tags. And then um, this page remained the same, except, of course, the, the little turn here to open this. A little bit more room. And then the magnets here and the two tags. And on the last pages, um, the only thing I did different here, I did run this. I don't believe I ran this through an embossing folder before, but I had a little Paris um, French embossing folder that I used there. And then, of course, the magnets. And this feature then opens up. And then the side photo mat here. And the last page. Um, Pretty much the same except the die cut edge there on the pocket and then the photo mat that pulls out. So there it is. Um, on the back it's the same. I did add these little die cut um, around the where the buckle attaches on the front and on the back for a little bit more detail on it. But that's it. It pretty much stayed the same with a lot more room in the stitching and some added new features from the original. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will put the link to the eBay listing as soon as that goes active tonight. I'll have that in the remarks section. And um, a link to the tutorial in the Etsy shop, the 8x8 Magnolia Way is what I used to create this. So thanks for watching.